Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to cover the very best folder I own, the Chris Reeve Umnum Zahn. After having the build for more than a year and experiencing a few knives, I wanted to share the main reasons why I believe this folder is a completely overbuilt and underrated sleeper in the community. The number one reason is when people mention CRK, most knife enthusiasts picture a Sabenza, but I lean towards the boss. Starting with its foundation, these scales are slabs of high grade tie, which have no internal milling, but do sport this classy external checkered mill pattern. Coming in with a thickness of 44 hundredths of an inch, the tolerance between the scales is the astonishing part. One of, if not the most important part in the build, is the strength between the handle and blade, which is a pivot. The Zahn's over impressive pivot speaks directly to the build's lasting a lifetime type of vibe it gives off. I've yet to see another build with a pivot of this size, and no I'm not talking about the screw head, but the actual pivot diameter passing through the blade that dwarfs the average pivot times over. Another highly important component in a folder is the stop pin, which the Umnum Zahn doesn't have one. Technically it has two, the external stops that double as the build's initial means of deploy. Compared to a Hinderer XM18's external stops, the Zahn's are clearly larger and extend out from the flats a bit further, providing a larger point of contact. Again, extremely tight tolerances provide more rigidity within the frame. The infamous action comes from phosphorus bronze washers, and while they are thin to the point they look flimsy or delicate, the diameter and surface area they cover is unreal. Contrary to popular belief, the Zahn's action isn't stiff or sluggish. They are hydraulic, glass on glass type of smooth, but after breaking in the scales and blade, the build becomes locked in on the rails. And I say break in the scales and blade because after a combination of grease, deployment, retraction, and most of all, time, the washers begin to polish tracks into the blade face and scales. While none of this action was possible for me within the first seven months of owning the Zahn, I can now disengage the lock and the blade will fall, which isn't special or different than any average frame lock, but the Zahn isn't average. The locking system consists of a huge ceramic ball that doubles as a detent and is the lock interface that meets with the blade's tang. Very reliable and extremely smooth because you literally roll the lock bar and detent out of engagement and directly onto the tang's edge where there is the least amount of friction in the detent travel. Unlike majority of folders where there is a point between the detent and the interface where the travel becomes frame to blade or metal on metal contact, inevitably changing the action with increased friction. The Zahn is also equipped with a glass breaker, which I will never use for that purpose, but I do find it very useful as a front flipper or top flipper tab, as some would say. Before I knew its true purpose as a glass breaker, I used to push across the breaker to easily deploy the blade, then do a slow roll. But after breaking in the Zahn and learning the build, by quickly using the same thumb motion and a bit of wrist, the breaker can double as a second means of deploy. This being the Tonto, it screams user and ready to be put into extreme action. Although the thin build has stout scales coming in with a thickness of 150 thousandths each, the hefty blade is a mere hundredths of an inch slimmer coming in at 140 thousandths of an inch in thickness. You can see the amazing geometry via the CRK blade grind. The blade begins to taper out at the top and front sides, producing an overbuilt yet still very acute tip on this Tonto. Being a Zahn circa 2019 blade show, this blade is comprised of S35VN an evolution to the CRKT produced S30V that has since again evolved into today's S45VN, which were all steels that were produced specifically for use in knife applications. These are only some of the key points as to why I believe the Umnum Zahn is so underrated and even more overbuilt in a very modest manner. Comment down below with your thoughts on the Umnum Zahn and its construction. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button and please share and subscribe to the channel. With that, I'll be signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.